Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Heavy Rescue. It's going to be episode 4. We've just got a call, so we're heading out there now. Okay guys, so we're going to about to be just pulling up on the scene. Uh, what we've been told is there's a team maintenance in the bridge. We're going to turn our lights on just close by. Apparently maintenance the bridge and they've somehow dumped a tractor or one of their equipment. They set a backhoe, I think, into the water. So, as you see, we've, the police are already here. Uh, we've already got a wrecker on scene, we've got the scene supervisor on scene, um, so we're just going to hop out here. And take a quick look. Oh, okay, yeah. Looks like it must have uh, slid down the hill. Let's talk to uh, Joe up here. Hey, Joe, how's it going? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's right in the water. Yeah, we should be able to do it. We'll we'll use both records for that for sure. I'm gonna speak to uh, Officer Dave here. Hey, Dave, how's it going? Long time no see. Yep. Yeah, yeah, no problem. We'll be able to do it. We'll use both records. Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm just gonna take a quick look at it, but it looks like it's gonna be just as simple as using both records. We want to get the uh, the officer was saying that. Uh, he wanted us to kind of get the job up, or job done, sorry, and so they can open up the, the right lane. I guess the maintenance team is going to be done for the day just because of this. So yeah, I guess they must have been at the edge of the hill there and must have slid down. Doesn't look like it's all the way in the water, which is good. So it's probably still running, which is great. We're just going to back up this first wrecker. Okay, so we're just going to carefully back this up. Okay, we got it. We got it backed up. The support's going down. It's sitting... Okay, well, it's sitting high. Yeah, the supports aren't fully on the ground because of the angle of this, but I think it should be fine. So we'll just bring our uh, main wrecker over now. Thanks too, guys, for tuning in. I hope you are enjoying the Heavy Rescue series. Uh, I appreciate all the likes, appreciate the subscriptions. If you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe. We got lots of great content. We just added the American Truck Simulator. Uh, most of our bids right now are the Farm Simulator, but just great game. Both games are great overall. So we're gonna back this bad boy up too. Hoping that the supports are probably gonna be off the ground here too, but we'll try our best. Maybe we can kind of use the bridge as a uh, shield to stop us from reversing yeah at least that we're kind of against the brick there so it might help with the pulling of it well guys that looks pretty solid to me so i think it's as solid as we're gonna get but yeah my supervisor was also um filling me in I guess they're doing maintenance on the bridge so it's more so the type of backhoe there is customized where they can extend the extend it out and have the actual supervisor for their team take a look at the bridge I guess spray paint where they're gonna need to replace etc so guys we're just hooking up now thankfully this isn't all the way in the water or it'd be a real pain but I'm definitely getting wet today for sure Just gonna attach the other hook with these mods too. You gotta hop in the truck to differentiate each one. They won't both do it at the same time. There we go. We got the second one good. Let's see. Let's start pulling. She's going, boys. She's going. Okay. Heavy rescue is gonna be 4 0, guys. Four wins, zero losses. Let's get it. Also being careful, I just don't want to pull it up too fast because I'm afraid these things, the records might flip too. It's just a weird angle so they're not being supported. So I'm just going to hop between them both and kind of pull and pull. And just do it slowly. As you can see, like as I release one, one's pulling. When I'm pulling from this one, this one's pulling back. Second I hop from the other one, it will release it and it's gonna. the other one will pull more.
Those water sound effects are pretty uh, legit as well, too. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Okay, guys, so we're going to pull from our one on the left now. We pulled pretty hard on the right record, so I'm hoping the one closest to us will be able to do pull up there quite a bit. As you guys can see what I was saying, where the one truck attention just kind of pops up. It's officially out of the water, though, guys. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. Should be able to get a good grip amount now. Got it pretty tight on the left one there. Sorry, the right from this angle, so we're pulling from the left at the moment. I'm hoping we can just pull it up the hill and then probably just swing the boom and then hopefully it'll be on the ground. But we're making progress now. I'm able to go a little bit faster, but we're still going slow. We're just, we don't want any lines to break. We don't want to lose the tractor because if it falls, it's going right in the water and it's done. And then it'll be a whole other team having to come in and hook it for us. So it's definitely one of those make or break scenarios. Our supports are holding up, even though we're kind of off the ground. We're hopping in our second truck now. I just want to get some more tension off the other one. So definitely our one closest to us is the strongest, as you can see. It's the one that's pulling up the most. The other one kind of has been buckling, but I don't know if it's the foundation. Like the, the truck's kind of against the median now, so that might be why too. Maybe it's adding extra strength. I don't know, but it's just pulling it so much more than the other one. I also have the boom out more, so that could be why too. But as you can see, we almost got it up. Very happy, guys. Very happy. This equipment is not cheap by any means, so it's good to get it out. Okay, as you guys can see, we're almost there. I'm just going to try and move forward. There's enough slack to do so. Just want to pull it out more. So we'll put the supports here, guys, and see if we can kind of pull it in. Just want to get it over the top there. So we're going to take off one of them just to see if we can kind of pull it to the left. So now it's not being held straight up in the air above it. Oh, sorry. It's, there we go. It was still being held, now it's not. It's glitch in there for a sec. And the tractor landed on us, but we're okay, guys. As you can see, that's what the supervisor was doing before you had to swim to shore when you dipped it in the water. And hopefully now we can just pull it. Okay, so we're having trouble. Let's try and use the boom, guys. It's just, it's a horrible, the ground's horrible here where the support's not helping us. Yeah, I'm trying to pull the winch, like picking down might be better, but yeah, as you can see, we're in the air. I'm gonna pop this one back out. I think we'll... We're gonna reconnect this one, I think, and then we'll do the winch. Yeah, we'll bring this up. And I think I was gonna swing the winch to the left there. And then, yeah, we'll attach it. And worst case scenario, if it won't pull, we'll just swing the boom more and it should turn it. Just this one that seems to be the stronger of the two. And it's got more of a uh, placement. Okay, so get my hook back attached. Turn it underneath there. Okay, there we go, guys. So hopefully we can kind of pull it in more and just get it over the hill there. Just at least on the land part, because it should still work. I just don't want to hop into it while it's being uh, connected. Okay, guys. Perfect. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Try 
from this side now. Okay, there we go. Just want to get it over that hill a little bit more. So pull this with a boom. Perfect. As you can see, everything's up in the air, but we did it, guys. It's technically, we rescued it. Get those winches off. Get that last winch off. Perfect. Let's get these supports up and then we'll move everything. See if we can charm this. There we go. Just fold that up. It auto, uh, if you have it unfold, it pops you into the seat there. There we go. So it is working, thankfully, even better for the job site. Maybe they won't have to go home, I'm not too sure what they're going to do, but I'm sure the supervisor that was using this is definitely off for the day, or apparently he was okay, didn't require any type of medic meds or anything, or um, medical help. Let's just quickly check this out too, and another good rescue. Cut that out in no time. So as you guys can see, the boom kind of hangs out there. You can extend it out, just figuring it out, figuring it out. There. Perfect. Yeah, you gotta, I guess you got to hit it four times The uh, scroll through the different options. But yeah, so as you can see, that turns. It extends up, extends down. It's just overall pretty cool equipment. Yeah, there we go. Check that out. You know, since we rescued the vehicle, we get to play around with it, right? I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This is Heavy Rescue, Episode 4. I look forward to the next one, guys.